subscribers. So let's get started. Hoo Hoo and Zulu, welcome to the neighborhood. Gracie Alvarez, welcome to the neighborhood. Masha Stewart, hello to you. The nicest person in the world, shout out to you. Johnson Quarrel, welcome to the neighborhood. Casey Halbon, welcome to the neighborhood. Jay Schmid, Johnny Pickle 03, welcome to the neighborhood. Andy Hawk, welcome to the neighborhood. Jay Z Crazy, Welcome to the neighborhood, and you know how to follow Casey because you were asking. Hello to my good friend Bethany. How you doing, Bethany? Sweet family life. Welcome to the neighborhood, and go check out their channel. They're pretty awesome. WRX Beauty. Welcome to the neighborhood. Out of Control Redneck. Welcome to the neighborhood. Rosemary Baker. Welcome to the neighborhood. Kit or Kim and Kids. Welcome to the neighborhood and go check out their channel. Seven Kids. Check them out. Debbie O'Neill. Welcome to the neighborhood. La Voltees. Welcome to the neighborhood. And Eva Holmes, welcome back. She has not been able to comment on any of our videos for a long time. YouTube has been having glitches, guys, so if you can't comment, just keep at it. Plus, make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube has been unsubscribing people without their knowledge. I've been unsubscribed to a couple of you. And if you see that I am no longer subscribed to you, let me know so I can resubscribe. Okay, we have some thoughts and prayers that we need sent out to people. Um, one proud mama, 77, her daughter Haley broke her ankle in gym. The teacher thought it was just a sprain and told her to walk on it. Yeah. Even if it's a sprain, you don't walk on it. Sometimes a sprain can be worse than a break. So, thoughts and prayers go out to Haley, guys. Okay. Katie Caroline, her uncle is not doing very well. He is struggling with his chemotherapy and radiation. And um, they don't know if he's going to make it through much more. So, thoughts and prayers go out to Katie Caroline, her uncle, and their entire family. And that's all of that. My question last week was, if you had three wishes from a non-tricky genie and you couldn't ask for more wishes, wishes, blah, 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 what would you wish for? Okay, Greg Myers. He r wishes he was the richest guy in the world, he could marry a supermodel, and he would own all the local Targets, Walmarts, and the mall. Tanya Longley, I liked hers a lot. World peace, no more killings. Money for everyone to live comfortably on. And free travel so we could visit each other anytime we wanted. I like that. Beach loving Aussie, peace, love, and health. Very nice. Margaret Clevenger, world peace, a big house so her wonderful mother could move in with her and great health for all. Terry Johnson, good health, money, peace for everyone, all three for everyone. Crimson Fairy, happiness, health, prosperity for all her family and friends. My three wishes would be no cancer, no cancer, no cancer. There you go. So it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. We're still not together, so Kevin, take it away. I 
almost forgot to ask what my question is for this week. What would you leave in your will to the person you love the most? And why? There you have it. We'll catch you next week. Bye. Well, it's about time we got to something important here. So, yes, last week's question was about Cemetery Man, which was a 1994 uh, horror film that was actually a corroboration of Italian, French, and German uh, filmmakers. It was directed by Michel Soavi, and the story is based on a book by Tiziani Schiavi. And um, the, it's a zombie movie where the, uh, people who are recently buried return from the dead and after seven days. Now in the original uh, uh, novel, it never quite says, it never actually says why they come back from the dead. But the director, Michel Soavi, said that it was mandragoli, which is Italian for uh, mandrake. Yes, it's the same mandrake from Harry Potter that screams when you pull it out. Um, so, and those who got that right was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, and The Abyss 92882. Um, so, interesting movie. You want to check it out. Uh, t tonight's question is about Stephen King's Misery 1990 with James Caan and Kathy Bates as Annie Wilkes. Question is, um, he never explained what the story was actually based on because all of his books are based on something in his life. Uh, 20 years after the movie, however, he did uh, say what it was. Uh, so, what was it? What is this movie all about? What is it based on in his life? That's the question. Okay, I want to give a big shout out to Kelly Nguyen, who uh, was one of our uh, new subscribers, and she also is on Instagram. Her Instagram name is terrific under slash titans. So there you go, shout out to you, and I will return it back to Val, North Carolina. Okay, everybody, you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff, and we will see you next week.